him. And I'm going to prove it. I have some information. I don't know who to talk to, but this is... Oh my God. It was Cyrus Bean. He killed Frankie Vargas. It's the only voicemail that went missing from the FBI tip line. Less than a day later, her cabin exploded. Liv, you were with me in the hospital the night of the assassination. You saw Cyrus. You saw how grief-stricken he was. Just because he killed Frankie doesn't mean he didn't feel bad about it. We have a suspect in custody. Nelson McClintock? Nelson McClintock is a patsy. The evidence against him is overwhelming. Really? Then why haven't you charged him yet, David? Has he confessed? Has he? We're still working on it. Of course him. you are, because he's innocent. What else do you want me to do, Liv? I sent the FBI out to the cabin. There was no evidence. You sent a couple of scrubs out there. Actually, he sent the director. And I brought an elite ERT unit with me. We've been out there for the past 15 hours. Director Webster. Olivia. I didn't know. I didn't mean any offense, obviously. Is it obvious? Have you found anything at that cabin to tie this woman's death to Cyrus Bean? No, Mr. President. And based on what you've seen, do you consider Cyrus being a suspect in the assassination of Frankie Vargas? No, Mr. President. But you're not done looking. Yes, she is. Mr. President. I am not investigating Cyrus being based on a tip line in a blown up cabin in the woods. I'm not. I went on television, Liv. Stood next to the man, told the American people that he was their next president. That was a mistake. Who told me to do that? The election is over, Liv. And so is this meeting. Thank you all for coming. Frankie Vargas's funeral is tomorrow. I want this case locked down. That won't stop Liv. As long as she still believes she has a shot at the Oval with Melly, any I'll take shot. Care of Melly, you make sure we get that confession.